to the great big old state of Texas. How are y'all doing today? Fonda Putt here. Let me adjust the camera just a tiny bit. See if I can reach it from here so I don't have to get out of the frame. There we go. So today, yay, I finally got all my resin. I've got my little starfish that I put on my paintings. I got a net to put over the top so it doesn't get dust on it. It got some dust and some wobbles on it. So um, I've got my resin mixed up and we're gonna get going. I do have to go around now and lower you down so you can see. I have taken a little bit of, of um, resin. I've put my Casting Craft Opaque Pigment Concentrate, which is white, in it for my waves. And the rest is going to be clear because I have painted my picture on. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to put a little bit of this underneath my uh, starfish that I'm putting on here because I just got them and I want to put them on with resin. There we go. Get on that rock where you belong. There you go. And then I'll just drizzle a little bit over them to keep them on there. And I'm gonna go down the row here and do the same with the others. Oh, upside down starfish. There's one. Bring you around so you can see the other end. Got one tiny one here. Which I think probably has enough on it. And a big one over here. Get off my finger. some space under in there to fill in which the waves and stuff will too okay what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my stick out of here and wipe it off with my baby wipe and my fingers so I can move the camera back around which I'm gonna use this stick for because I don't want to get messy on the camera. okay so clean my stick off with a baby wipe and then wipe it with a paper towel and then lay it aside get a fresh baby wipe out just to have for cleanups and um, I just use our local where we get our food HEB baby wipes the cheapest ones that you know I could find Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some resin on here just to where the end of the waves are at. And I'm going to rub it all around. I'm going to try to get it up where those waves are. Just using my fingers cover all the blue and then I'm just going to rub the rest of it around need a little more than that this resin really has to flow because I'm going to be putting the waves in it And as you might remember, I have this little dam across here, just trying to bring it all the way up to that because resin does shrink in when it dries. So I want to keep it on there 
on the edges, make sure all the corners and edges are filled in. Okay, that looks pretty good. Try to get all that resin off my fingers because I don't want to waste it and there, it collects a lot on your gloves. Just slide your fingers down, let it drip off, get your wet wipe, wipe your gloved hands, get all that off there that you can. Well, you're not so sticky for touching everything else. Okay, and a paper towel roller here. Dry them off on a paper towel. Okay, now the fun part. Let me grab my heat heat gun here. Let's see if I can get it around this side far enough. Yeah. Okay. I am going to drizzle the white along the beach line here. And I'm going to show you a new trick I learned for making waves with this. And for the clouds here, or waves, whatever people like to call them clouds or waves. Some people think that's the sky, some people think it's the beach, so whatever you want to call it. Okay, got that on there. Now, another wet light. Now I'm going to take a stick and I'm going to use some of this. What this is, it's just in a bottle here for storage, is mineral spirits. I'm going to take some and just put some in one of my little cups here that are clean inside. These are just cups that I use to stand my paintings on. But I'm just going to put a little inside here because there's not anything in there and that's clean on the inside. I am going to get another stick. And I'm going to use my cutters real fast and cut this in half because it's way too long to use. Okay. And now I am just going to use the end of this stick. And it's, these are just, um, let me show you what they are. Got these on Amazon. It's a package of a hundred. And they're just Chef's um, bamboo skewers. And they're about a foot long. Um, let's see. Does it say? It says 100 pieces. Doesn't say how long they are, but I'm pretty sure they're a foot long. So they get kind of in the way if, unless you're making a really big painting. So now I'm going to take this mineral spirits and I'm going to just run it along the white paint and watch the reaction. Now this evaporates. It doesn't leave any pitting or anything on your on your uh, canvas. Just watch that spot. And this really helps break your white up. Okay, now here we go with the heat gun. I'm gonna put it on low. Well, oh, we're gonna have to have it on high. Gonna heat up this resin a little bit.
of that reaction get all kinds of webbing, which is really cool, so it looks like foam. I'm going to push some down here a little closer to it on the water here. Whoops, I just stuck one down in it. Turn that off. I'm going to put a little more down here around the sand part. Oh, stay up there. Okay, and more of the mineral spirits. There might already be enough in there that hasn't evaporated yet. Now I'm just going to run this through like the waves are making kind of a shape here to see if I can get that to kind of blow that way. The same with this one. Let that set for a minute, see how it does on its own. Okay. Okay, I think that side is done. What do you think? Okay, I'm back. Okay, let me turn you around to this screen, or to this screen, to this canvas. Let's go to my chair over a little bit. And let's pour some more resin on there. thick in that corner didn't I that's okay well I hope this finds everyone well um, my oldest son who's in his 40s just went and got tested for COVID yesterday so we're waiting to see how that comes out we also have a friend from our well my husband still works remotely for them but where my husband works and where I used to, where I retired from, Emory Thompson Machine, um, that had to be tested because she was very ill. 
and she's still waiting for her test to come back. And we had another person that did seminars where we worked, Mike from, um, oh, I forgot the name of his business, but he, he made um, adult ice cream with alcohol in it. <laughs> we built industrial ice cream machines, so we taught businesses how to open businesses. And um, he's been very ill with COVID, so we're just praying that my son's test comes back negative and that it's just a flu bug, as bad as that can be. Okay, we're gonna put our white on for our waves and our, uh, let's see how much of that I had left. Yeah, I probably have enough of that left. Okay, here's our white for our waves. And these up here, hopefully I have enough white left for this section. It's okay if I don't because tomorrow we'll put another coat on these and make some more waves and then it will really look 3D. So we could put waves over the waves and see how they landed tomorrow from on here. Oh, hope I got enough of that. Squish it down there so it'll come off the stick. The phone keeps beeping. Somebody's texting me. I'm recording. How are you? Okay. See my little umbrellas I got for my to cover my things with? Okay, now I've got to wipe my hands glove off on this baby wipe and get all the stuff off. How do these clouds look over here? I mean waves. waves. Look good. good. That's the seashell I gave you. Yeah. Little little starfish I got. This is my granddaughter, Kenley, and it's way over here on this side. So if you come over on this side, you can probably see. Say hi, everybody. Hi. That's Kenley. Okay, now we're going to put the heat to these. Oh, nope, almost forgot. Hi, baby. Almost forgot our mineral spirits. We can't forget those because they do a lot of the work for us here. always have lots more if I don't have enough in here. She's out talking to her poppy. Her grandkids here call us Moppy and Poppy. <laughs> Which is fine with me. They love it. So they made it up. Well, they picked Poppy and then had to get something that 
started with M or something to match. So they came up with Moppy, which is fine with me. Okay, there's our mineral spirits and all of our white. And I'm going to take um, this paper towel and wipe this white container out because it is glass and I need to get as much of it out as I can. And then I will use a baby wipe to clean it out some more real quick so that, oops, I got two. I'll let that stuff sit there and germinate, as I say, for a few minutes, for a second, while I'm cleaning some of this glass out. It's got lots of soap on it, so that should do. This is the best way to do this, unless you can't get it out. I did use some resin that, whoops, I got three paper towels, didn't need that many, that I could not get out of my glass at all. And this is, oh, Culture Cast is the brand of resin I'm using, so you know. And I'm loving it, it's clear. Look at this, I haven't even blown it yet. There's hardly any bubbles, they've all come out. Okay, there, see, clean. Okay, so now we're gonna put some heat to it, heat it up. And if there are any bubbles, they should come out while we're doing this. And like I said, this helps dry up the minerals or evaporate the mineral spirits. And this gives us a good way to make our waves. You can kind of guide where you want that to go. Got some big old waves in this one. Whoops, got some resin on it. Gotta always keep that wiped off. These I'm gonna blow down a little bit. The waves would go down towards the beach. Okay, wow, I think that is stunning. Stunning, stunning. Let me get my stuff up here. See if I have any bubbles. I do have some in this one, so we'll I'm just gonna turn this back on and get rid of bubbles. What is that? Oh, that's something in the like a piece of sand off of the out of the real sand that I put on there. Get rid of any bubbles. Okay, now Moppy, can I try one of these? Now you want to come in and introduce yourself? Hi, this is Kenley. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so we're all done with this. So now I'm going to show you what I bought to cover them up with to keep the dust off. And that would be this umbrella. You just pop it out. It snaps. Put it over your project. Keeps the bugs, the dust, the hair out. Woo! Let's see if it's going to be long enough for this one. And we leave it for 24 hours. So I will see you again tomorrow. Be good to yourself and kind to everyone else. Love y'all. Bye. Okay, it's been uh, overnight, so about 18 hours since we poured the final layer on these this triptych. So I'm going to reveal it to you. Get the netting off there. We're gonna untape these today and I'm gonna show you how shiny and beautiful they are. No dust or anything with the, uh, the, uh, oh, my stick stuck to the, oh well, it'll come off when we, anyway, welcome back. Good morning, how are y'all doing? I'm good. Today, I'm drinking coffee again. And this coffee cup is from the Tillamook Air Museum. And that is in Oregon, where I'm originally from. I was born and raised pretty much in Oregon, Washington, and Idaho. And the story behind this mug is my husband and I met online. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat this morning. And I was living in Oregon, and he was living in Tennessee. Well, um, we had a, a long-distance relationship for some time. So I, when he was in Oregon visiting, surprised him and took him to the Air Museum because he's a pilot. Um, and so that's where this mug comes from. So that's the little story behind this mug and why I'm going to have a different mug every time that we record. As long as it's in the morning and I'm drinking coffee, that is. Mm -mm. Gotta give a shout out to Folgers. They make good coffee. Okay, back to our triptych. The tape has stuck together. So I'm just going to gently pull that apart if I can. And my stick Let's see if I can use this to get down in there. If you have any flow over, then it will stick your tape together. Looks like I almost got it. There we go. Okay. Pretty much there we got it. Okay, here is the right panel. Look how shiny that is, that resin and the waves and the water and the shells, how shiny everything is. And those are real shells, so they're standing out there, a the little starfish. Okay, that's the right panel. We'll release the second panel now from the center panel from the left hand panel panel can't talk this morning need more coffee I just got up a little bit ago it's early okay come on okay okay so this is number two which is the center one look at that shine on there so it turned out beautifully Okay, so that's the center panel, and the left-hand pan pan panel, I still can't talk, 
Oh, and I love the waves in this one. But it's just outstanding as far as I'm concerned. So, okay. And now I'm going to take the tape off. And it's real simple. I left it folded over so I'd have a place to pull it from. And I'm just going to go around. And this is the one, remember, I had taped the back also, but I didn't need to do that, and I'll show you why on the other two. Ah. Okay, so look at that edge. There's just a little bit of flashing on there, but look at how wonderful this resin is. It is just amazing. And again, that's culture cast and I'll show you the bottles again at the end so I'm gonna leave the back tape on now for a moment for a little bit and um, show you um, how I get rid of this flashing on the sides simply take a pair of scissors and where it's sticking up too much I'll cut that oops not over the other painting hopefully and that little lip will be have to be sanded down a bit, but before I do that, I can just trim most of it down with just a pair of scissors because it's still kind of soft. So that's a little tip on that. Just cut it off with the scissors. Okay. Okay, so that's that one back to the center one and this one these you remember I just folded the tape over the back instead of taping the back separately so we'll remove that get our little corner and just pull and it comes off cleanly comes off from the back and the side clean sides once again and back and again find our corner it's down here and I will just lift up on that because I do have it folded over can get a hold to see it here. Oh, there it is. Okay, and simply pull. And this is just cheap, whoops, about half of it. Blue um, painter's tape. And I pulled too fast, and when you do that, you can break your tape down the seam. So I'm just having to pull that down by itself there until I get to the corner. Anyways, and if you pull it slowly, it comes off a lot better. If you pull it quickly, you you can rip it. Gently get around that corner and slowly pull it down. And voila, we're finished. Look at the sides. It's amazing. Now these do weigh a little bit. And we had one little bobble here. I think I touched it getting something out of it while it was just too tacky. So in our next video, in the, um, I don't know if you can see that little bobble there or not but it's really hard to see unless you're in the right light if it was on the wall I doubt anyone would ever see it but I see it so we're gonna touch that up I'll show you how we do the sides and also how I'm going to do the hanger on the back for these for the wall 
So that's them revealed. I hope you like them. I am in love with them. I'll bring you, I'm going to turn them all around. So we're going to switch ends with these two. Try not to leave any fingerprints on them. They're still a tiny bit tacky. And I will bring you down to see our triptych. Yeah, the dirt. There you go. I still have tape stuck to my <laughs> shorts here. Yeah, didn't they just turn out beautiful? Can you imagine this hanging on your wall above your fireplace? It is for sale. So if someone is interested in this piece, it is a triptych, it does go together. If you're interested in this piece, just email me at vondaputtcreations at gmail.com. for pricing and delivery options. Okay. Well, thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video, which will be the finishings of this triptych. Thank you all. Be good to each other and kind to everyone else. Love you. Till next time. Bye.